last little blog segment, segment we talked about uh, where I get some of my information from and some of the things I get. And uh, now what I want to show you is some of the old bottles. This is one of the books that we had in our, our last thing. It was old bottles of Harford County. But a lot of the Havity Grace bottles are in them. There's a bunch of different milk bottles. And we'll have pictures on our blog site about them. There's lots of soda, different soda bottles. There's lots of beer bottles. There's even medicine bottles for some of the pharmacies. And what we'll be doing this segment is showing you a few of those bottles. And um, a while back, a, a friend of mine, Mr. Jim, I can't remember his last name. I'll get credit to him pretty soon. But he gave me a bunch of pictures of his Haverty Grace bottle collection. And he gave me the pictures of them. And you got some uh, liquor bottles from Hex. You got medicine bottles from Lions. You got soda bottles from Kelly Beverage, Whistle, uh, the Fahey Liquor Store that was in town, several different locations, lots of different bottles. And we do have a bunch of the bottles here in the store that I can show you now. Some of the medicine bottles. Everybody drinks something, and back in the day you had to drink some medicine. This one came, I don't know what medicine's still in it, but this one came from Green's Pharmacy. This one came out of Lion's Pharmacy, and this is some kind of a refined oil. And it's still got the paper label on it. Where the other, some, most of the other bottles have the uh, embossing on them. Another medicine bottle was one of our older ones. This came from Klim, Kim Kleinberg, a good friend of ours, from the Saddler. It was in her home that she just remodeled. And uh, it's from the Saddler Hardware, or Saddler uh, Pharmacy, sorry, which was way back in the 1800s. Some more things that was around town were dairies. They had a lot of different dairy bottles. Here's one that was from Westwood Farm, Haverty Grace. There's also, it's a very common one, and there's a Westwood Farm uh, Aberdeen bottle. That's more common than that. Another one of our dairies in, in town was the uh, uh, Silver Brothers Dairy. And we got three different size bottles. The quart, the pint, and the half pint bottles from the Silver Brothers. And there were many more dairies in town. You'll be able to see them in our blog. And we'll have pictures of some of them. And all, a lot of them are listed in that book that I just showed you. Another uh, thing that people drank in town was soda. One of the first soda places in town was a place called Whistle. And it was located over on Lewis Street. And the Kelly Beverage Company took over the Whistle Company. Later on. And this is a Kelly Beverage bottle. Soda bottle. They also did several other bottles. The, the sodas. They did Chesterfield. New Grape. Well, that was the New Grape. This one is Good Grape. Good Grape. Good Grape and New Grape. Now, there is a bottle that I'm, I don't know where it came from. Which one it came from. Where there was the other Coca-Cola company later on. After Kelly closed out. But I'm looking for a really good bottle of this one. These, this is called Jick Jack. And this came from a Havity Grace. It's got Havity Grace on the back of it. But the painting on it is not real good condition. I'm trying to find one in real good condition. Also, the old Coca-Cola bottles from the 20s. And these two particular ones, I've got several of them. But the plates on the bottom are a little bit different. That's why I have so many different ones. If you see the same bottle in there. It's because the plates are different on the bottom, how Haverty Grace was put on them. And another one that a lot of my friends that collect bottles and, or Haverty Grace stuff, they, they, you've heard of uh, Big Chief Soda, but they didn't know that it was one was put out in Haverty Grace. And I just happened to have one that says Haverty Grace on the bottom of it. And this is, must be a pretty rare bottle for Haverty Grace. And then, if you get it a little stronger, you want to drink something a little stronger, you had beer. This one is a Hecht beer. And Hex also did liquor. They were a liquor distributor. And some of the jugs that you've seen in the first set of pictures that I had, we'll have pictures of each one of them on our site. I'm wondering now if the Hex didn't have a distillery in the bottom of their hotel, which we will do another little segment on at another time. 
Another liquor distributor that was in town was the Fahey Liquor Dealers. They had a hotel up on Washington Street. So I'm wondering if they had a distillery in the basement of the hotel. I'd, I'd love to find out. If anybody has any more information on anything, please contact me and let me know so we can find it. Another bottle is an, a, another type of bottle is a seltzer bottle. And this one is from way back in the day. And it's from Thompson's Hot Air Bottling Company, Bottling Works, which was located down on the corner of Water Street and Erie. It's where the uh, uh, Burns Brothers Carriage House used to be, where the, currently the uh, right across from where Abbott Ice House used to be. So those are some of our bottles that we have, some of our collections that we have. And if anybody has any that I don't have, I'd love to get them if you want, or just bring a picture in to me or bring it to me so I can take a picture and uh, share it with everybody and put it on our, our on our website at uh, bahookas.net um, or I can share it on Facebook also if you uh, allow me to. And thank you very much.